Good morning, friends. I'm Matt from theshavingcadre.com. Welcome to my uh, shaving channel. Um, today, I'm going to be shaving with Southern Witchcraft's Autumn Ash. Um, a really nice um, fall scent. Very ashy, vanilla. Kind of like, smells like dried leaves and, and dirt a little bit. Uh, really, really fantastic. Um, fall scent for me. It's, it's right in my, uh, um, kind of my, my, my sensory wheelhouse whenever I think of what fall smells like. Um, I'm also going to be shaving with their aftershave, uh, as well. Uh, this is the only automatic or auto only Southern witchcraft soap that I have. Um, I need to pick up more, uh, but that's, uh, hopefully going to change in the future. Um, I'm going to stick with the same balm I've been using for a while. I'm going to use the Nivea men, uh, cooling. And uh, my brush today is my uh, Sappuccino Veracino um, Shaving Cadre brush. Uh, so that is where we're gonna start today. Um, yeah, look, it's light outside, weird. Um, usually I shave at night, um, but uh, I, <clears throat> I've got a business meeting this morning. Um, I've been putting off shaving because I've been honing later at night and uh, been working on some projects at home, so I, uh, <laughs> I've been a little bit lazy as of late. Um, kind of uh, looking like some of the hobo shavers, um, like uh, Mr. Bill M. Speaking of Bill M, um, Bill M honed the razor I'm going to shave with today. Uh, it is a Philharmonica 14 that Bill uh, took on for me. I was having some struggles getting the last. Um, maybe, I don't know, a uh, quarter to third of an inch uh, on the back side of the blade um, because it has a small warp and I was struggling when honing and I sent this to Bill um, because he has convex hones and he wanted to give a try at honing it. And so I sent it to him and uh, he says it's an amazing edge um, and it's popping hairs like crazy. The thing's crazy sharp. So uh, looking forward to giving it a try today. As far as work goes, I've had trainees with me um, trying to teach them our systems for um, the last, I don't know, two, three weeks now. Well, full time for two weeks, and I just got another new trainee yesterday. I enjoy training, so I'm not complaining, but at the same time, really hard to do your job, your regular job, when you're busy explaining everything. And so I've been putting a little in some extra hours trying to catch up, which is fine. But uh, usually I'm shaving at night on video because my son's asleep. And I don't have quite the honey-do list past nine o'clock, so I can get down to business. Now, it is the fall season. I don't have a ton of fall shaving soaps. I mean, I have several that match the bill. You know, some sandalwoods. Behind me, I've got uh, uh, Seaforth Spiced and uh, Bear Stern Man's uh, Fougere Gothic, which, as far as I'm concerned, it's one of the most awesome fall scents that's out there. Um, and I think that this version behind me is from one of their original releases. Fantastic soap and aftershave and cologne. Um, one of the few that I have all three.
All right, I'd say that's good enough. Nice, creamy, thick lather. Um, in my experience, this soap does kind of lighten up quite a bit for the third pass. So I'll try not to, try to probably pat my face down a little bit before, uh, before I switch passes. Or when I switch passes, excuse me. All right, let's get started. Here we are. Here's the big old Philly, Philly 14. Um, she is beautiful. Uh, I love this razor. Um, the only other shave I had with it was so-so. Uh, with the edge I put on it, uh, with the J Nat, was, it was fine, but uh, it needed some work. Woo! That is a sharp razor. Just kind of falls down your face. Very smooth. Definitely Bill has the honing skills. It's like shaving your face with a butter knife. It's very smooth. There's no resistance really at all. It's awesome. Again, benefits of having a big old wide razor. Don't have to wipe your razor as much. Now, um, what's going on over at the Shaving Cadre? Um, one of our awesome members uh, started what I believe is now gonna be an annual um, event. We have the um, we have the Christmas gift exchange, which is every year, which is great. So come on over to the Shaving Cadre and you can get involved in our gift exchange. Um, but the other um, fun event before that is called uh, the Halloween Piff or Treat. So uh, on the shaving forms, one of the... Um, um, one of the acronyms we have is PIF, uh, meaning pass it forward. And so uh, you can go to that thread and we are passing it forward. So uh, like trick or treat. So uh, you come to my house, which has three treats and I'm giving out three PIFs. And there's several other members on the cadre that are giving out 
piffs as well. So it's the piff retreat. And usually uh, uh, we theme them. Uh, we theme the piff kind of around Halloween. Uh, so by all means, if you're already a member, please check us out. If you're not a member of the cadre, um, please join up and uh, have fun. And for those of you that don't know what the shaving cadre is, the shaving cadre is a uh, shaving form. Doesn't cost anything to join. We're just a group of guys that like shaving and doing videos and posting our shaves of the day and discussing new products. And old, of course. Very, very sharp razor. <laughs> Not a whole lot left, guys. Um, I'm super impressed by Bill's honing skills and uh, the use of his uh, convex hones. Um, great job, Bill. Um, the Thayer Zizzard or TSSR that he honed for me before this was excellent. And this, he wasn't kidding. He was telling me it was going to be just an absolute out-of-this-world shave, so... Um, I was expecting something great, and this is awesome. And I know that he finishes on pastes. Um, he uses, I think, half micron CDN and other. Pasted straps. In my previous experience with pasted edges, they were very harsh. These are not. Bill, I think I understand why you like this razor so much and uh, why you said you want it if I decide I don't want to keep it anymore. It is pretty cool. Something about the grinding of these, these, um, this just really neat. I mean, big, big razor, but very, very thin. All right, get my last pass in. I gotta get to work. Wow. I mean it, guys. I mean, there's barely anything there. Testament to Bill's honing prowess. Good job, Bill. Yeah, I, I uh, start training at about 9 o'clock today. Probably about 8.45 now. 
just to uh, finish this up and then go down to my cave. So, um, working from home is nice, but at the same time, it's kind of nice to go in. And speaking of that, I have not been to my office. I haven't been to the office in almost three years since uh, COVID started. And uh, I'm finally gonna get to go on campus for some meetings tomorrow. Listen to that, there's nothing. So yeah, we're gonna go on campus, have some meetings, and then come right back home. <laughs> so uh, that's, uh, that's cool, it'll be a nice change of pace. Then again, now I live about 40 minutes from the office. So there's that. I say 40 minutes, but that's actually more like an hour and a half with traffic. Anywho, so it's Thursday. And the first, the first weekend and probably three weeks that we haven't had a birthday party we have to go to, which is all right. Definitely with Bill's edges, you have to take a little bit more care. Um, these things are, I'm not gonna say they're like, they are sharper. They are sharper than the edges I produce on my JNAT, my Escher, or even my Jasper, I think. And um, um, the only consideration I have is that uh, they wanna give me weepers, which is not, Terrible. I mean, they they seal up pretty quick. But I got a few weepers on my neck, and one there on my chin, and a little bit right here. But uh, definitely <laughs> not something that would keep me away from convex honing. Um, so Bill sent me his convex stones to try out. So later this week, later this week, tomorrow I believe, if I have time. I'm going to do my first toning progression on them. See how they go. And that is BBS right there. I'm gonna say mostly irritation free. I always get a little bit of irritation right here and here. Just the nature of my jowls right there. Barely a tingle. 
Nothing on my upper lip at all. Nothing on this cheek. Actually, very little underneath my chin. Just some right here. So, success. And Bill, we'll talk about the razor at some point, I'm sure. And while I let that settle in, I'll rinse my brush out. Now, convex honing is gonna be a bit different. Um, I'm excited to set the bevel on a uh, convex stone. Um, I've actually been really curious about them because of the, the, um, the benefit of making sure you can get to every little bit of that blade, if it's twisty or wonky or something like that. Granted, I know uh, when you're uh, concaving the bevel out, you can't do it on like a full wedge or maybe a quarter hollow, because that won't work, but full hollows and quarters, I'm sure, will work just fine. But if anything, I'm looking forward to taking a few problem razors. I have some, I have a Wester Brothers, vintage Wester Brothers. I have a, uh, a Puma that had a, surprisingly, a Puma that's got an issue, um, right? Never run into those. But uh, I've got several razors I'm gonna take to that stone and really, give it the business, that stone, that set of stones rather. Um, and then I've got a couple of wedge style razors that I just want to test out on the, uh, I guess the, the long axis, just to see how the bevel set will go. But uh, I'm optimistic. I think it's gonna be cool. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start with my balm. I've really gotten into uh, starting with the balm first. Uh, but I did put on some Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel, which seems to have lasted um, 50,000 years. I uh, still seem to have about an eighth of a bottle that seems to regenerate and does not want to go away. So I can try something new, but oh well. All right, I'm gonna finish up here with Autumn Ash, and I believe, that it says Maple Spice Smoke Amber and Cedar. Um, and I believe this is an alcohol, no, it's a witch hazel, witch hazel based um, aftershave. Shaker up, hasn't been used in a while, actually probably not since last, last winter. Oh yeah. Well, thank you, Bill, again for the excellent edges. Looking forward to trying out the stones. I smell great. I'm gonna go to my meeting here in just a little bit and uh, get going. So uh, guys, take it easy. Um, it's always fun to have you with me. Please check out the, uh, the companion channels for theshavingcottery.com, including Handlebarber Dave, uh, The Cutthroat Journey, Long Haul Tanker, Bill M., uh, and uh, Nurse Dave, and there's more than that. Uh, please check them out. And also, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel if you've hung out this long. Um, please do. Uh, I enjoy coming on here. We have conversation, shave, talk about products, and then in the comments, please, questions, comments, whatever. If you see me like slicing my face open and you want to talk about it, great. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for stopping by, friends. I will shave with you later. Shave with you later. Wow, I always goof that up. I, I always say, I'll shave with you later. Shave with you later. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.